Hello and welcome back to another episode of me torturing my hair. I'm your host Sarah and today we're going to be dyeing my hair with Kool-Aid. If you look back at my videos you'll see that I really like to try different hair coloring techniques for videos. So the overtone that I put in my hair a little while ago was starting to fade and I'm not ready to go back to a natural hair color yet. I feel like this is just the beginning. I could have just repurchased the rose gold by overtone because I know it's good but I thought let's try something else. Let's try something crazy. Let's do something different. Let's do something cheap. Let's do Kool-Aid. Now I've never actually tried tinting my hair with Kool-Aid, but I remember back in like elementary school, maybe middle school, it was kind of a thing, kind of popular for girls to do because it was dyeing your hair without it being permanent. So parents were like, okay, yeah, cool. I'm not going for a permanent color, obviously. I'm just going for something to brighten up the pink I currently have. And it was only a dollar for four packets. So if it's something I have to periodically do, I'm okay with that. By the way, I'm getting over a cold, so if I sound nasally, that is why. I really wanted to play it safe with my hair. I didn't want to try green or blue in case something goes awry. So I ended up going with colors that I think will achieve a rose gold tone. So I ended up getting two packets of the pink lemonade and two packets of the watermelon. Uh, the second packet of this got lost somewhere. It's a mystery. I don't know. So I only have three packets. Hopefully that will be enough to really get that color since I do have a lot of hair and it's long. These are pretty light so I'm not sure how well they're going to work but I didn't want to go with something more red because I'm just feeling the pink. Now you may be wondering, is Kool-Aid good to put on your hair? Is all that sugar and dye safe? Probably not. Has that stopped me in the past? I don't think so. You only have one head of hair so might as well do whatever you want while you have it. Other supplies you might need. Mixing spoon, a bowl, I suggest a paper bowl so it doesn't stain your normal bowls and you can just throw it away. Conditioner, now this is not the normal conditioner that I use. I don't want to use my normal one because it is a little bit more expensive and I'm not using it to get the conditioning benefits. I'm just using it as like a carrying agent for the color. So I think you can really use any kind of cheap conditioner even if you have like hotel conditioner lying around in your cupboard. I still plan on using my normal product like conditioner and hair mask so I don't really need to reap the benefits of a conditioner in the dyeing process. If you're interested to see how this one dollar dye job is gonna go, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. My hair videos typically do the best out of any of my other videos so there will probably be more like this. I'm gonna take you to my bathroom. Alright, I have on a shirt that I do not care about. I'm gonna section my hair into four different parts. I'm going to section this part off and start with this side and comb everything out. So for the mixture, I'm totally guessing at this point, so I'm just going to put a nice generous amount of conditioner in there. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. I'm going to put in first a whole packet of the pink lemonade. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of water. I'm going to start with maybe a tablespoon. Other articles I read suggested using a dip method, but since I don't want to get it in all over my hair, I want to get it in very specific places, I'm going to use a standard stylist brush to get it where I want it. Okay, this doesn't look like it's going to be enough to cover my head, so I'm going to keep adding more conditioner. I'm going to do the second packet of the pink lemonade. Okay, it's looking a little orange at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some of the watermelon. I'm just gonna add in all of it. Okay, that did help. It's still not as pink as I had hoped. I really think I could have used that second packet of watermelon, but what are we gonna do? All right, got my gloves, so let's start.
covering my entire head. Some thoughts. I definitely should have added less water. The consistency was so liquidy that it's been dropping on my floor. Also, I feel like with less water, it would have produced a brighter pink. Honestly, without the second packet of the darker watermelon, I don't have high hopes for this. It doesn't look that much darker than what my hair is currently at. I still have some left in the bowl, so I'm just gonna take some in my hand and comb it through with my fingers. I'm gonna pin up my hair and then I'm putting a plastic bag over it just so that I can continue doing stuff without risking it getting on anything. We're looking great. It's Gucci. So I'm gonna start with keeping this on for half an hour, but I might need to leave it on for longer since it is such a light color. All right, so I washed it out. I actually ended up using my regular shampoo as well because one of the articles I read said that before you wash it, the dye can transfer onto things like your pillowcases and shirts, and I really wanted to avoid that, so I ended up shampooing my hair, doing everything like normal after rinsing it out. I ended up leaving it on my hair for about an hour just because I got busy doing things, and when I first checked my hair, it looked really promising. Like, it looked pretty vibrant pink and like it was going to at least look like a deeper pastel pink. And in the shower when I was shampooing, it still looked good, but I feel like after I conditioned and did my hair mask and everything that I put on my hair probably had an effect on the color. As you can tell, it's really not that much different. Like in the pictures, you can kind of see an itty bitty tiny slight difference. Overall, I don't think it really did much. I kind of want to try it again because I feel like there are certain mistakes I made or certain steps that I should have taken in order to make sure that the color stays. If I were to do it again, I would definitely use less water in the mixture. And I thought about getting a red packet, something very vibrant that I can mix in just a little bit to get a brighter pink. I think the flavors that I chose were just too light that unless you have platinum blonde hair, it's not really going to show up. And most of the articles I looked at used red as the dye. I would also probably use at least four packets since I didn't have the second watermelon. I feel like that really did affect it. If it had just been a little bit darker, I think it would have worked better. I feel like I see little streaks throughout my hair that look like they took to the powder more than other pieces. I don't know why that is. It would have had more time to sit on the lower half of my hair, but that doesn't seem to be more pink. Hi. <laughs> Aw, baby. Okay, bye. <laughs> so I'm sorry to report that this is kind of a fail video. I'm sorry. Like I said, I feel like this is something that could work if you just avoid the mistakes I made and take extra precaution to get that dye really dark and vibrant. All in all, I only lost a dollar and a couple hours of my time, so I think it was worth it. Sounds like I am losing my voice as the night goes on, so I should probably end this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like or a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you.